वेलकम टू अनादर रीडिंग ब्लॉग Vlog on our vlogging channel, and we may not have many subscribers there, but that's where we document our day. Doing reading vlogs kind of make it difficult, but I still want to do it because I want to tell you guys a lot of things that cannot be captured in videos. So the people who care about it should really get to know it because the whole point of this channel is to document my reading life. So what am I planning to read today? So yesterday I got this book from Harper Collins, Eleven Thar, by S. Hussain Zaidi, their latest release. Now. Yes, I got this book from Harper Collins, but it's not going to be a paid review, or it's not even for the review. It's just like I just get what I want, and they sent me the books, and I am not under any obligation to promote them or even read them. But this one, the moment it arrived, I was like, I am kind of attracted to this book. It's supposed to be a crime novel, and I just checked the entire book whether there is something like Harper Black written on it because Harper Collins, Harper Black. Almost the same things, but somehow I have this strong feeling regarding Harper Black that their content is not my type. It's not good enough for me. Some people may love those books, but I'm like, I've tried two, and I'm like, <laughs> but this one we are gonna read, and it sounds very cool. book is basically like the classic uh, detectives trying to chase the terrorist thing but it's really interesting written really well too much into it already done with 48 pages and i do not want to stop Guys, it's time for some Monday morning update. So yesterday, I finished reading Eleventh Hour. Honestly, I spent the whole Sunday reading this book. I was reading very slowly. It's kind of my thing right now. I read books insanely slowly. Like I can't imagine this is me reading. But otherwise, the books just don't get into my head. I don't know why I'm going backwards. But The book is really good. I gave it four out of five stars. It's like a classic plot. I'm not saying that you will find something like wow. I have never read something like this before, or I have never thought of a plot or concept like this before. It's not like that. It's a very basic classic thing. But reading it is quite entertaining, and that's what I liked about this book. And the moment I finished this book, I picked up this one, Beyond the Label by Maureen Shuke. It's the former CEO of Chanel, and I started reading it. I kind of really like it. I wasn't able to read much, and I don't think I'll be able to read much in this entire week because I'm very busy with shopping, and we have to go somewhere. The whole family is going out on the weekend, so we are just shopping, and you know, it's too busy for me the whole week. But I am on page twenty-six of Beyond the Label, and look at my bookmark. A Domino's bill. Anything works for me for the bookmark. And I randomly got a comment. I feel like in my vlog, I should definitely talk about those insane comments because one comment was like, "Are you mad? Who really needs bookmarks?" I'm like, I actually am reading a lot of books, and I'll keep telling you about them once I pick them up in this week's vlog. If I don't pick them up, they won't be in the vlog. But yes, stop to sleep. I'm on page number twenty-eight on this one, and I do not plan to read anymore now. Let's sleep, Doctor Sleep. By the way, this one is the sequel to The Shining by Stephen King. The Shining was a good novel, or I would say, great novel. I really like reading it, and moreover, you just fly through these books. These are big, but they are really like smooth to read. So I really like them, and this was actually a gift by Bhargavi and. Thank you so much. You always end up sending me the books that I really want to read. I don't know how you do that, but you are awesome. Today is Wednesday, and I actually have a lot of books on my Kindle, and I have really noticed that I read faster on Kindle. So I decided to continue reading this book, which I was already reading, but I I was done with fifty percent of it. So I read the remaining fifty percent. Just a second. This is the book that I just finished reading. 
I don't know. I don't think it will give you a good view, but it's Tales and Legends from India by Ruskin Bond. It's actually a collection of short stories, some taken from Indian epics, some taken from other, you know, legends. And it's really nice. I think it's more for children and all those stories you tell children and very nice, entertaining stories. It's actually really good for that. And even for me, I feel like, yes, the stories were very like uh, children's stories. But I love children's books as well. So I really like this one. I would give it four out of five stars. So many new different stories. Some I had already heard before. And it was just fun to read this book. So if you're looking for a very light entertaining short stories collection. But like in the children's genre. Then you should definitely pick it up. And while I was updating my status on Goodreads. I actually saw that Sankalpita from Book Geeks India has also read this book and she also gave it 4 out of 5 stars. So kind of like the same books. So I picked up my Kindle in the morning and I actually finished reading two books. One is Tales and Legends from India and then I started with 50 Life and business lessons from Steve Jobs by George Elian. One I had read all 50% already so it was not even that big but yeah it was a good sized book Ruskin Bond one and the other one was actually very short but I really liked both of the books. Like I have read some really short books last month as well and I did not like them. All those Kindle unlimited free books are like crap people just write them for the sake of branding or I don't know what okay they are mostly bloggers writing stupid books just for the sake of being an author last month I happened to come across some of those books and I did not like them at all but this one the 50 life and business lessons from Steve Jobs it was a really good one so I would definitely recommend it to you guys if you are short on time but still want to read a very fulfilling and nice book about Steve Jobs once I finished reading that book I started another book and finished like 25% of that book as well and that book is on personal finance again I did not see the name properly it's because when I am reading on my Kindle I'm usually browsing through Kindle unlimited store and then whatever books comes on the top I just take it and start reading it and I think I've read some good books in last few months while doing this uh, thing some books come out to be like oh why did I even read it but still I'm enjoying my experience of reading books from Kindle unlimited it's actually really like helps me save a lot of money so I'm like all up for it Today is Friday and I picked up another book yesterday. I just cannot decide what to read but I have been reading this one. I'm done with like 34 pages actually liking reading it. As I told you in the beginning of the vlog we were traveling in the weekend so I could not even read at all. I carried my kindle for sure. I carried a book for sure but could not read it. So that's what I read in this vlog. I'll see you in the next vlog which I'll be posting on next monday so make sure you check out my next vlog as well if you like this kind of video format but otherwise do check out my other videos which i'll be posting later in the week i hope you enjoy watching them i hope you would find them useful till then keep reading and let me know what you read last week i'll be waiting for you in the comments down below this is one signing off i'll be back with another video very soon